If you have a problem with a large number of admin ages requests made by Pixel your site, and if you want to improve this or disable it, I want to explain why we use it, why we probably need it, and how you can um, take steps to improve this. How you can um, decrease the load on your server when you use Pixel your site and you send the conversion API events or uh, when you have a, a constant implemented because we use admin Ajax for two purposes one to avoid uh, caches from caching event ID when Facebook conversion API is enabled and I will explain why and how you can check if you have uh, the need for such a thing and we also use it uh, for some uh, consent integrations when we want to make sure that consent is actually dynamic and reflects um, the options or of each uh, website visitor instead of being cached and uh, served in the similar way for everybody visiting your website. So let me start by showing you the part related to Facebook conversion API. We have this is Pixel Your Site, by the way, our plugin. Uh, we have this tiny checkbox here. Use Ajax when conversion API is enabled. If you have conversion API enabled, I mean, you have a Facebook Pixel ID and you have um, a conversion API token, uh, and you have this thing checked, we will use admin Ajax for every event that the plugin sends to Facebook. And there is a reason for this. We need the event ID to be unique to each pair of um, browser and conversion API events. Uh, if you don't know, when conversion API works, you send two events for each action that is tracked, a browser event and a server event. If both are received by Facebook, so if Facebook gets a browser event and a conversion API event with the same name and the same event ID, they will deduplicate meaning they will just uh, process the browser event and ignore the conversion API event. This is done to ensure that the data is not tracked twice. So what we do need is each pair of browser and server events to have a unique uh, event ID. Sometimes uh, there is a cache on your uh, website, server, something else, that caches the event ID. And instead of having unique IDs for um, each event or event pair, pair of events, browser and server, you have the same event ID for all your events, which uh, will create a big problem with Facebook. So maybe I was very, <laughs> that was very hard to understand, but uh, there is an easy way to see if you really need this option activated simply deselect this, save, and test. Now, open your website in an incognito window. Why? Because most caches don't actually work when you are logged in, especially if you are logged in as an, as a, an administrator. So chances are that you won't see caches uh, working if you select while you are an, an admin. So open an incognito and open, uh, well, I have to allow tracking first. Now open an event and look for this really, really big uh, event ID. You don't have to memorize it, just remember some pieces of uh, this event ID. For example, this one ends with 887. Refresh the page. and check the same event and uh, it should have a different event ID and yeah now I have 11A1 so it's a different event ID it means that I don't need that Ajax option because all my event IDs are not cached are unique are dynamic and everything is fine so if you test and if you have this kind of uh, scenario like I do on my testing website you can disable uh, Ajax for um, conversion API for Facebook conversion API like just just like I did so in this case you're good 
The next situation when where we need it is for consent. And we can go on our consent page, look here and has you see an option enable Ajax filter values updates. It's on here. Disable save settings. And again, testing an incognito window. And um, configure some consent here, for example, um, analytics, yes, videos, no, marketing, yes, something else, something like this, okay, and confirm my choices. Now, the idea is that I have a particular consent uh, configured on um, this website, and I don't want this consent to be stored by some cache and serve in a similar way to other visitors. In order to test that this is not the case, close and open again in an incognito window. And I'm good because I'm asked again to express my consent. And if you go here, everything else uses default um, values. So in this case as well, I don't need that um, admin Ajax option for consent. Uh, I was showing you um, the results with our plugin constant magic you might have a different plugin that looks in a different way the idea is to make sure that consent works dynamically meaning that you don't serve the same uh, consent settings to different users they're individual so if this is the case you can leave the um, ajax option off for consent as well now if you do need it for uh, let's say conversion API is there something else you can do yes there are a few things uh, the first one is to reduce the number of events you send to Facebook uh, you can do this in various ways for example we have a signal event fired automatically with all sorts of triggers maybe you don't need all these triggers disable them so maybe you don't want to uh, fire this event for sorry for internal clicks or for watch video or for forms disable them save and the number of events sent by the plugin automatically will decrease uh, the opposite might be true maybe you have a custom event configured here on our events page well maybe you can use the signal event and some parameters to create a custom audience or a custom conversion instead of creating a separate event to track that action. If our signal event tracks it, uh, maybe it's a good idea to use our signal event for custom audiences or custom conversions instead of firing a new event or to disable the same trigger for the signal event up to you. So uh, this is the other option that you have to reduce the number of events. And uh, if you browse our plugin, you will see that almost anything can be turned off. I mean, you can turn off searches uh you can turn off uh, woocommerce events but chances are that you need them <laughs> but it's doable i mean if you want to reduce the number of events it's uh, that's uh, the other option unfortunately uh if you use cache chances are that you need to enable uh some of our admin admin ajax uh stuff because as i explained we need this to in order to overcome caches from storing key things that should be dynamic so uh, this is it i hope you uh, have a better understanding of how things work and uh, what what was the reason behind using uh, admin ajax uh, with our uh, plugin